Alright, so what is good, YouTube? I'm Cam Pizzon, and I'm back at you with another sneaker video. Before we jump into this, like, different video, let me know what you think of this setup. Um, I'm shooting outside. Hopefully the audio is crispy, but I looked at the shot, yo. This shit is hella crispy right now. You can see the bokeh in the back and everything. But yeah, like I said, hopefully the audio is as crispy as the shot is right now. I had to step away from the camera a little bit to make sure, like, I could achieve this shot that I have going right now. I'm gonna have to play around with it on Sony Vegas, like turn up the audio a little bit and just make sure it sounds good. But let me know what you think of this whole like outside setup and everything in the comment section below. I don't want to talk too much about it, but yeah, like I just said, make sure you just tell me what you think. Um, I personally know I like shooting outside better than I do inside, but maybe some of you prefer inside, so just stay active with me. Just let me know what you think. And nevertheless, I'm just really gonna like jump right into this video. Alright guys, so jumping right into the video, this is definitely going to be like a much different video for you guys. This is going to be a how I got scammed like story time with Cam video. And basically, I got scammed out of three shoes. The Jordan 2 Candy Reds, which were worn once, like pristine, just past his dead stock condition. The second pair being Jordan 3 Powder Blues DS, just absolute perfect condition. And then the third pair being... Johnny Kilroy 9s that are worn one, so like really pristine. All shoes just really pristine, clean condition. And basically, uh, those those three shoes were worth like at least eight hundred to a thousand dollars. So eight hundred to a thousand dollars just right down the drain. So basically, like like I said in this video, I'm just gonna tell you like the story of how I got scammed and really, 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 right when I'm all right. We're just gonna have to keep filming, but this dude has to mow his lawn right when I'm recording. <laughs> Whatever though. Fuck my neighbors. So basically, uh, this is a little bit of like, not really like complicated, but like kind of like complicated. So I'm really just gonna like sim like try and simplify it as much as I can for you guys. So yeah, like I said, this must have occurred like January or February of 2014. So I was like 13 and three quarters really almost 14 but I was still new to the sneaker game and I just like didn't know enough yet and basically I listed up this pair of like 2011 Jordan 7 Bordeaux on eBay I just finished restoring them I think it's 2011 correct me if I'm wrong I probably am wrong but um and this dude emailed me and he was like yo like you want to do trades like blah 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 text me at this number so I texted him and like everything was going good and I really thought I was gonna win because this dude offered me like the Jordan 5 Red Suede Raging Bulls would suffer a ton of money and he said they were like worn twice and he sent me pictures. Little did I know at the time that he took those pictures off eBay which is another like one of my faults. I should have checked that. But like I said I was an idiot. I was just a motherfucking stupid idiot and I didn't check that. And then he also said he was going to give me I think it was I think it was 2008 2008 countdown pack with the Carmine 6s and then whatever fucking number the other shoe was. I forget, but both both pairs in that countdown pack DS. So I was obviously gonna be winning like crazy on this trade. Like powder blue threes, Kilroy nines, and um and candy red twos, like just those three for um for those three. So like I was obviously gonna be winning. I didn't wanna give him the Bordeaux, he kept like nagging me about it. I wasn't gonna give him that. I was just such an idiot man, like I obviously got scammed with all this and basically like when we went to do the trade I kind of knew like I could get scammed but so like what I did was tell them like oh let's do like a middleman service to make sure that nothing happens and like no one scams so like I found this middleman on Instagram and like uh, he had like 30k this reputable like middleman like this one that was like he's not gonna scam me like this middleman is gonna be a scammer he's 30k on Instagram and I go and like, so, like I get his kick from somewhere. I don't even know where I, where like, where the fuck I got his kick. But apparently this middleman, like the middleman on Instagram, was like the like real, like reputable one. He was real, but like the one on kick, little did I know, was like actually a scammer one. And he was just posing to be that like reputable middleman, like just pretending to be him when he was truly like just a kid scammer. And that was another one of my faults. Like so many faults in this story, but 
Uh, I didn't check to see like if it was really like that middleman. I didn't even like think once that like this guy would be like faking to be like that middleman. So that just fucking sucked. And basically, we uh, the kid that was scamming me teamed up with that middleman, and they basically just split like my three shoes and took them. So like uh, the kid that was supposed to ship like his shoes first, I was gonna tell him to ship first to the middleman, and then I would ship. And he told me to ship first. Like I'm at the post office, blah blah blah. He sent me like pictures of him at the post office, which another like fucking fault of mine like so many faults he just took that damn box like he took the picture of the post office box on google images i didn't even check dude so dumb um and he just pretended to ship first and then i actually did ship and like sent like the proof to the middleman and he said it was confirmed as soon as he made sure that i actually shipped and like it was confirmed he told his boy to like just block me on everything they both blocked me on every like piece of social media you could get and really they just took all three shoes from me and I called the police in the town tried to like get up my money back and like everything police didn't do shit uh, they couldn't do anything and I really just got scammed out of like 800 to a thousand dollars so like I said I was a kid and I learned from this experience but basically this like the moral of this story is if it's too good to be true it's too good to be true there's nothing else to it unless you like know the dude like that's your best friend that's your boy it's too good to be true so just don't rush into anything uh that's really like why i'm making this video right now i want you guys to know as my viewers and like to learn from my experience i know i learned from it but i also want you to learn from it i know it's getting mad dark right now but like there's like the sun's like getting covered by the cloud like you know and but like just just learn from this guys please don't rush into anything i know a sneaker life has said something along those lines if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true, guys. So just don't rush into anything. Um, but that's really it for this story, guys. Let's see if we can get this video to 200 likes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you stay active with me in the comments. So just drop a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. What you think of like the shot and everything. I know it doesn't really look good right now because it's dark. But just let me know what you think, guys. That's really it for this video. And hopefully the audio is good enough. If it's not, I might have to buy like a new mic and like get like the audio like up and just make sure everything's crispy because I'm really feeling like the shot. But yeah, like I said, that's really it guys. And I'm going to go edit this video and drop it for you guys. Make sure you learn from my faults. Make sure you learn from my experiences. And just don't rush into anything guys. That's it for this video. Peace.